And I'll tell you why. Because I'm sentiment. I'm excited for more. Are you excited for The Crow? I am. It was in. Uh, it made my top anticipated releases of 2024. We talked about it briefly, I think last time we got together, uh, because it was um, confirmed. Confer- rumored to come out on like a Barnes & Noble like pre-order link yes. or something, and it was like for late May. Well, now all the details are available. Nothing is trivial. For all you crow heads, it's finally here May 7th. 4K Ultra HD from Paramount in a plethora of options for us. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of options. Dude, before we, we're getting crazy with options. Let me here. tell you, you know, sometimes I, I wait till I arrive here to get my news. Are, is that right? <laughs> but I did come across this the other day, and I keep a list of you know upcoming releases that I'm interested in, and usually I'll make a note next to them, like, okay, get this steel book from Best Buy, get the Arrow, yeah. you know, cover variant B. For this one, this is the first time I've ever wrote this. I wrote The Crow. 1994 4k and in parentheses i just wrote too many options too many. Like, i don't even know and none of them are blown me away but I'm like, i know I don't, it's like you can hold off i i have no idea what do you want what is it what so again we didn't have any details at the time now it's all here there is a regular edition and three different steelbook options <laughs> ones in the U- ones for us ones for uk uh, one of the options is similar there's two like identical steelbook options, but one comes with like a some like art cards poster kind of a thing. Gotcha. Um, so you have a Paramount steel, a Walmart steel, a Zavi steel, which is same as the Walmart, but like I said, poster art cards, and Zavi's charging about uh, twenty more dollars. So let's take a look right here. This is the regular. This is the um, Corey Feldman art, the Corey Feldman edition here. What's wrong with you, Matt? <laughs> Why are you disrespecting? I'm sorry. The dead? I'm sorry. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. Rest but, in peace, Corey Feldman. But it's only because, you know, the traditional art, he's much further away in that, like, black, like, yeah. bars with, like, he's, like, in a beam of rain. And now, like, you see his whole body. Like, that's sort of how Corey Feldman comes out on stage. <laughs> that's kind of what he looks Corey like. Corey Feldman comes out on stage. Dude, you're the only person who's ever said that sentence in the fucking world. <laughs> Like, like, like some common reference point I've seen for too many Corey That's Feldman Corey concert Feldman videos on stage, I've right? seen too, yeah I've seen him live too many times um, no I've seen too many don't make fun of the crow bars you're a Feldman sorry all the crow heads out there <laughs> you're a Feldman <laughs> <laughs> sorry to all the crow heads out there all right Russ crow here's bar. your options you ready 30th anniversary crow regular edition that's the first one here comes number two this is the limited edition Paramount Steelbook. So you're going to have, you know, the Steelbook itself is just his side profile. Of course, you've got the rain happening. And then when you open it, it's got the crow eyeballs, that classic uh, poster on the inside there. But there's a plastic slide down sleeve, which I know you love. I do. And oh, wait, actually, on the Steelbook, it says real love is forever. I wanted to point that out. So when you put the, the slide down plastic sleeve on top, now you have sort of, you still see him through this crow that's coming down like kind of really coming down fast in the rain. It's this blue hue. So there's, that's, that's steelbook number one. What are your initial thoughts on that? Don't like it. Don't like that. All right, let's move over to well, number... I mean, you know, to me, this is a very black, gothic-looking movie. It's just a lot of white and a lot of Too much blue. white. Too much yeah. white. Too much white. Okay, let's go it over is. to number two. Okay, here's number two. Now, this is your only at Walmart steelbook, Russ. So this is, again, you've got on the outside the very close-up face of the crow... And his makeup and all of his old whole getup going on here, and then the slide down case here is again another crow, but now it's just like the eyeballs through the crow, his his stunning gaze. They've gotten progressively worse. And then on the back of that slipcover is the crow flame on the ground. You know what I noticed on this one and the previous steel book, the art on the back is more iconic from the movie to me yeah. and better artwork than anything they're trying to slap on the front. Yes. Yeah. Um, and then if we could just Why go... Why they've just kept this simple? Like, th- this is a no-brainer. Just give me a steelbook with the original art it's, or, an, or don't recreate something in a film that is filled with visual, with iconic visuals, let's face it at this point. Well, for about $20 more, Russ, you can get the same steelbook over at Zavi. But this time you get a poster and some art cards to go with it. Hmm. And a much higher resolution photo. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so here it is. These are all of your options. These are all of your options. Now, before we let, let's just look at one last thing, because I want to get your opinion on one last final thing. Here are the features that are coming with this bad boy, because they got some new stuff. 
Okay. They brought some new stuff to the game. So, of course, new 4K restoration of the film. Then a new Shadows and Pain featurette, Designing the Crow. So a couple looks like three mini featurettes within that. Then a new interview with Edward R. Pressman of Sideshow Collectibles. Then it looks like maybe all former stuff, audio commentaries, mm-hmm. behind-the-scenes featurette, some extended scenes, deleted footage montage, and so forth. Yeah, I mean, that's cool, honestly. I wasn't expecting a ton of new features. Was anybody out there? Yeah. When I look at a film like this where a tragedy happened on set, yeah. I, I don't really get the impression that everyone's going to have warm and fuzzy, <laughs> you know, a warm and fuzzy recollection of creating it. They may acknowledge that it went on to be a great film or and, and you know, gather a lot of acclaim and fandom. But I mean, imagine, have you ever worked a job where somebody got murdered there and it's like, hey, let's get back and have a reunion. You seriously fucked up. It, it, well, would was be, your, it, it would be morbid. That and, was your point on Poltergeist, too, because of the tragedy yes, and things that happened yes. there. But I mean, it's because it's like you kind of not talk about but it. But my point before is how many historians come back to talk about all of this stuff? You couldn't get a historian. They don't need to touch on the death. They, well, they can they can still talk about, you know, like you said, it's a very creative visual movie. The making well, the of the soundtrack. soundtrack. Yeah, yeah, like but, there's things to do. But, you know, then I can't blame them on that because there's probably a lot of issues with getting rights to the music uh, to recreate and features. You know what I mean? You're a downer this movie this, i've never seen getting a new i mean even a sideshow collectibles i'm not a collector in that realm as far as like the todd mcfarlane type mm-hmm. stuff but i'm aware that the crow is like a big part of that culture i've seen countless figures and you know replicas of the crow over the years so that'll probably be an interesting interview about the evolution of how this film pushed it in there it wasn't just the comic that did that mm-hmm. You know well, what I mean? Well, which crow is I, your crow? Are right, you think you're going to go steel book? You think you're going to regular? No, no, I'm going regular because that's you know to me that is the um, there's these two side by side. I don't want either of them. It's white. I mean, I, granted, the soundtrack had a white cover, but I just associate this film with black, with mm-hmm. gothic, you know, tones, and the original art on the standard. It's not the inspired, original. but it's the closest. To me, it's kind of like the deal with Pulp Fiction, mm-hmm. where it's close, but it's not exactly the original, but not as offensive to me as these are. They make you fart big time. doesn't mention it, but maybe the original will be underneath the sleeve. That would be sweet, and I would be completely yeah. happy. But I yeah, think- that's what I'm going with. And, you know, I, I said that I made that mistake with Wayne's World. Mm-hmm. I initially skipped that standard because I was like, well, that's that new artwork. And I was like, well, that orange steel book is ugly, but it's a steel book. And I ended up going with the orange steel book, and I regretted it. It's yeah. stupid. Does this guy know how to party or what? Well, that's a shame. And this isn't outright horrible what's everyone thinking out there it's just not for Lindsay, me it's just a hit little, us with at least one comment it's lackluster i'll say that the the feelings are mutual feelings are mutual um, in the chat okay confusion about why the use of so much blue instead of black. yeah the original black it's like the a, original art in a black steel book done it's giving me dark knight heath ledger kind of vibes mm-hmm. or Corey feldman yeah. Well, to the masses, yes. To Sorry. the masses I, that are more familiar to with the Corey. uninitiated, you know, these weird ass f- outsiders who live on the fringe of society who don't see Corey there, Feldman performances. There's a couple Corey heads on the chat, guys. Hey, Corey Here's heads. Here he come, the comeback king. <laughs> so, a few folks, um, someone in the UK said that it was sold out um, on Zavi currently. Currently sold out on Zavi. I'm sure it'll go quick. The the steel books will go quick. This will any special edition of this will go quick, which is another reason why. I mean, I guess in a way, I should be happy that I'm not that into this artwork. That I'm going to stick with the standard. Yeah, a title like this, beloved, is an understatement. Anyone check it out on Paramount Plus and get a, a get a feel for the transfer? I know it'll obviously be different and a little bit better on on the disc but is is anyone worried about that is everybody kind of like ready for it i mean do you hope this movie gets like darker looking or more like Um, natural looking i'm not worried about well i mean nothing nothing is certain but uh i'm not worried about it because i think anyone involved with the production of this disc and the transfer and the upgrade they have to know how important visually this yeah. film is. Tell them Eric Draven sends his regards. 
uh, the visuals of this film are a big component of why it's held in such high esteem with its fans. Yeah. This isn't a situation where it's, you know, n- not to say I love ordinary people, but you could enjoy ordinary people. You know, there's no sort of flair in the sense there is. Yeah. The, I mean, it's a comic movie. Right. You know? Well, I don't know what anyone else is doing out there. I don't know who's pre-ordering what. This hasn't necessarily compelled me to do much. Um, but is anyone excited for the Crow remake with Bill Skarsgård? <laughs> Has anyone seen this? <laughs> Have you seen this, Russ? I just want I want to hear all the crickets get their thoughts in first. So this is Bill Skarsgård as the crow. Who cares, dude? It, I think that was my exact phrase last time. You try to shove this Skarsgård shit down. Well, before door. there was no photo. This came out today. Thanks. Today it came out. My, come on, keep it rolling. <laughs> I Go. just wanted to know if anyone else saw this or not. Keep <laughs> it rolling. Russ, I can feel you seething with rage just by looking at this picture. And dude, I'm not even like a crow fanboy. This is just You're crow. not a crow head? No, no. I thought we were a crow head. <laughs> no, it is crowbar. <laughs> First, it's crowbar. And second, secondly, no, I really like it. I love the movie, but I'm not. It's not a movie where I see, and I explained before, there are already so many stupid sequels and bad iterations after it that it's not exactly sacred ground that anyone's pissing on. Why didn't you do something about it? We'll move along. So, um, so Russ, now that we've covered the crow into the ground. No, that's, dude. Yeah, what are they thinking? Go back to that fucking monstrosity for one second oh my gosh dan joker said the disrespect to brandon lee i i know oh god yeah i know Sarah say said, some dark stuff right now but Sarah I'll said it, it looks like he has 30 empty monster cans in the back seat of his crv <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, he looks like uh he looks like jared leto's yeah. joker yes that's, that's the vibe i'm getting Yes, yeah. who said that? Dan Joker said that. And FKA Twigs is his this love is, interest in this movie. This and is, she's in a few pictures, like, kissing him and, like, whatever. What's that like, group you like? Um, oh, that weird-ass, like, Australian. Weird-ass Australian? Uh, yes. Die on or That's yeah. what it's looking Is that what it looks like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's giving me that kind of vibe, too. Like the, the gangster, like joker that's stupid yeah all right get it out of here. all right let's Turn get it out of here okay get away. all right we're moving right along moving right along 